What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. A few days ago we posted our written review of the HTC One Max and the biggest question we had was in regards to that little black square right below the camera, the fingerprint reader. So I'm going to walk you through how well it works, how well it might not work, what about the placement, how it works below the lens, and all kinds of other business that has to do with that guy right there. Let's go ahead and get started. So this little black square is the fingerprint scanner on the HTC One Max. So first let me show you how it works, then I'll walk you through the setup process, what it can do, and I'll show you how easy or not easy it is to use. So first, location. It is located directly below the camera lens. To make this work, you have to swipe your finger. You can't just leave your finger on there, you gotta swipe down. So you inevitably have to swipe your dirty, greasy, french fry fingers all over that lens, which never makes uh, for good pictures. So the phone is locked right here. If you try and unlock it normally and you swipe up, it's gonna say, hey, swipe your finger to confirm. So it's pretty easy to do, assuming you can know where the fingerprint scanner is. If you go ahead and swipe your finger right down, it unlocks and it locks very quickly uh, and almost the first time every try. Actually, I haven't had any false unlocks or haven't, haven't had to ask me to redo it. It works really, really well. The tricky part here though, is the phone is so big, is figuring out where that fingerprint scanner is. And when you feel it on the back, it feels very similar to the lens. Oftentimes you're swiping your finger just on the lens. Let me show you the settings and what it can do, because it does more than just unlock the device. So we'll jump into settings, we'll go to fingerprint scan. It's gonna ask me for my fingerprint. I'll turn it over, I'll do a little swipe, and here we go. Uh, so I've got it set for different fingers. You can have it set for a few different ones if you'd like. Uh, you can also have it do um, different things. Let's go ahead and learn new fingerprint. So I had it set for my right hand. We'll do my left hand here, so you go to continue and I'll ask you which finger you want to use. So I want to use my left hand this time. So you go ahead and tap the finger, and you swipe it over three times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it right here, and it vibrates each time. One, two, three. And one more time, rather, four times. Successful, and then it's gonna ask what we want to set it for. So assign an app to quick launch. So it's very cool, you can use different fingers to launch apps. So I can use my right hand to unlock the phone and my left hand to launch an app. And you can do pretty cool things with it. Let's say you wanted to unlock the camera um, and make that work, or you can choose from different apps and unlock you know, really a ton of, uh, of choices that you've got or launches apps immediately. But the camera one makes the most sense. Um, so we just did left index finger, so you don't want that to unlock. We wanted to go to camera. So go ahead and hit apply. Go ahead and go back home. Let's say the phone is locked. If I want to unlock it, I can use my right finger and swipe, and the phone will be unlocked. All right, so if I want to launch the camera, or use a different finger. You have to go ahead and tap that power unlock button, find the right spot on the phone, do a little finger swipe action, and you get the camera to load. And there, in that situation, I did have actually errors. The first time I've seen that happen on the phone, but I swiped it a few more times and I was able to load the camera. Interestingly though, when the phone is unlocked and you're just using it uh, and you try and swipe your finger there, it's not going to be active and it's not going to launch the camera. You gotta do it from your sort of pre-lock screen. Uh, but it does work very well here. The big issues though are since the phone is so large, it's really hard to find. You gotta almost turn that thing over and swipe your fingers. So the utility and the ease of use uh, really aren't there. When it comes to security, HTC said the same thing that Apple does. They're not sending your fingerprints anywhere. They're stored uh, encrypted on the device, but you, know, you can choose whether or not you want to use it or not use it, it's, it's up to you. I prefer to not use it just because it's so big, but if it was on the front, if it's integrated into the home button, for example, or something similar to how Touch ID is, I think it'd be really, really useful, but the way it is right now, it's just too hard to use and almost impossible uh, to find. But you choose to use it or not use it, it's up to you. Uh, the placement makes no sense to me, especially right below uh, the camera lens. But for whatever it's worth, there is a demonstration of the fingerprint scanner on the HTC One Max. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Let me know what you think. Leave it your comments down below. Till next time, I'll see you What's then. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. Now, if you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.